Right, well, Russell D9 on YouTube has asked me if I can do a video showing some methods of how to check to see if you're getting spark from your mower. So, I'm going to use my 1968 Briggs and Stratton engine for demonstration. So, I'm just going to pull the spark plug out now and I'll show you the couple of methods that I know to see if you get spark. Right, I'm going to show you a couple of methods of how to get spark now. So the first thing you want to do is just pull the spark plug out of the engine. Now you're looking for a spark plug in that sort of condition. But it doesn't have to look entirely like that, it could be a little bit dirty. If it is a little bit dirty, then you can use a wire brush. And what you do is you just move that back and forth on the spark plug to clean it off. So now what you want to do is you want to connect the spark plug back onto the spark plug lead. And put it against a head bolt. So if I... Turn my spark plug that way around, you should hopefully be able to see that. So now I want to hold the spark plug down onto the engine, like so. And then turn the engine over. So automatically I could see a strong spark there. So I know using that method that the engine has spark. So another method you can see to see if you've got spark. If the spark plug isn't sparking, then it could be a bad spark plug. So another thing you could do to see if you got spark is to hold the spark plug like that turn the engine over and you should feel a little sort of tickly feeling on your hand and that's a spark giving you a little bit of a shock so you might not want to do that method but if you're not worried about getting a little tiny shock then you can do that to check the spark I'll just show you another method now so I've taken the spark plug off, but I'm leaving the spark plug cap on the spark plug lead to get to, to get a connection. And what I'm going to do now is just use it in the um, pliers again. I'm going to hold the spark plug lead like that towards the head bolt. So not right directly on the head bolt just sort of next to it and what you're looking for there I could hear the spark I want to keep it as close to it as possible and you're looking for the spark to jump to the head bolt so that's a method you could use if the spark plug isn't sparking you could have a bad spark plug and if you don't get any spark using that, then there's a number of things that could be wrong with it. You could perhaps, if you have this style of engine, then it, this style of engine has the points and condenser style ignition, which is underneath the flywheel. So you'll need to look at that. You need to have that. You need to take the flywheel off and the little cover that should be over them. But what you want to clean the points off with is a fine piece of sandpaper very 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 fine and you want to fold that in half so you've got two bits of sandpaper on either side open up the points gently with your with your fingers and put the piece of sandpaper in between the two close the points down on them and move them gently back and forth and then you'll get the you'll get the stuff off the points and hopefully then you should get spark um, if you've got the later style of ignition, 
there's also a couple of things that can be on there you could have some rust on the flywheel which is not letting a good connection from the magnet to the ignition and also the um, ignition module could be rusted so it won't be giving you spark uh, another thing you could have run you could have in in your um, spark plug lead the top bit here you could it could be dirty and rusty on the inside so again you want to just give that a little bit of a clean off with a piece of very fine sandpaper and that'll clean that off so there you go there's a couple of methods of checking for spark thanks for watching